to stop caring what other people think, you have to stop thinking that they actually care because they literally don't. Even the closest people in your life really don't care what you do. And this is like a very humbling truth where you have to, no one recognizes how much everyone else is wrapped in their own world and their own reality. And it prevents them so much from starting things, I think. Like regarding social media and stuff, a lot of people will ask me, how do I get started with making content? How do I get started with putting stuff out there? And they're constantly afraid of what their friends from home think or their friends from high school think. And to me, there is a switch that gets clicked um, when you become completely comfortable with the fact that no one cares about you and that you should just make whatever you want because you're going to die one day and you're going to regret not being completely relentless with what you wanted to, wanted to create. And that just has to hit you. And it's hard to give someone that feeling. You can't just tell them no one cares, right? Because they will not believe you. They have to deeply understand how short life is and that shortness of life has to push them to go create, right? Um, that's, I think, what helped me get over it. And I'm still getting over it, right? Like I'm still new to putting my face out there and making videos like this, talking to the camera. For years, I like, I did it like step by step by step. Like I started posting under a different username for years. I literally only changed that last year. Um, I started not showing my face, like all of this stuff. And, and so I know this, like, I know this cycle, I think better than anybody. Even before I started my Instagram, which was 2019, I had like the username picked out for two years, two years. Like imagine if I started the two years before and yeah, maybe I wasn't ready, maybe I was going through stuff, but, but fuck, like that is such a long time to just sit on something, right? When I could have started, I could have done something. Um, and you know, I was hanging out with someone today and they kind of said similar things like, oh, they're worried like, um, they weren't, they were just kind of worried about what other people thought. They were worried, they were worried about people kind of stealing their work, plagiarizing their work. Um, they were worried about like the perception of them and like what people would think and keeping this like, uh, sort of like aesthetic to themselves. And I'm just like, when I hear people talk like this, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like <laughs> you just have to make stuff and no one makes stuff because they're so like concerned with the self image that they don't actually create an image at all. And instead they just protect, protect this like ideal they have in their mind of themselves. And I did this for a long time. This is why I'm preaching. It's like, it's all fake when all people want on social media now is just someone to hold a camera to their face and do something real. That's why there's this guy on Instagram. I, I'm forgetting his name. I think it's like Davis or something. I'll put his Instagram here. And I tweeted about him the other day, how he has like hundred K followers right now. And I think he'll have a million in six months because he is literally just sticking a phone in his face and saying the fucking truth, saying something real. And it turns out this dude is a savage who runs marathons at like, I'll post this. He ran like a fucking 240 marathon at like 6 a.m. on a track, which if you know running, like that is just an inhuman thing. Um, and so he's a psycho and he deserves it. But like, that is what people need to be doing much less so of like the, you know, perfect feed and perfect aesthetic. You want to look a certain way. No, like I think you need to be real and you can, I think the best people, they have this contrast between this extreme real aspect of them. Like I'm trying to do that in these videos. And then they also have this more performative, like more polished, more well-designed work. That's kind of how I view my writing um, in some ways. And like the art I try to make where I really only want to post stuff when I think it's incredible. Um, and I'm obsessed with looking at it. And then versus like videos like these and like some of like the selfie videos, which I want to start doing more of, it's just like real. It's just like, you're fucking sitting in a room with me and I'm telling you what I think is right. And maybe it's not right, but this is what I believe. And this is how I'm living my life. Like I'm, the way I'm operating my life is everything I do, everything I experience and whoever I interact with is going to happen because of the things I put out into the world on social media and on the internet. Like the quality of my life is directly proportional to the quality of the art that I put out to the world. And like, I cringe a little bit when I say the word art, but that is a hundred percent what I'm doing now where I am just living my life and trying to document it and trying to share the thoughts I have. And it is just to me is art. And I'm getting very, 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 very close to my ideal life, which is literally just wake up and make art all day. And, and the more I do that, the more dialed I become to do it. And the more I do it, the more opportunities I get. And the more opportunities I get, the 
better art I can make. It is just this like incredibly fulfilling cycle. And it only started over the last, I think like really four months when I really surrendered and gave in to what I was obsessed with, which was running and surrendered to like doing my art, which was like last year, I really built my audience off of these animated videos and I was getting millions of views and it's awesome and it works. But, and while I'm not opposed to doing those, I'm doing a little more now of like, I want to do a lot more, a lot less of that and more real, just me talking to a camera, me running, because that is what obsession really looks like it is I want to show what obsession is. That is why a big reason why I'm running so much. Yes, I love running. Yes, I'm obsessed with it, but it also just happens to be this perfect vehicle for obsession. That's a side tangent. But back to what I was saying, my life's what I've decided to do with my life is just base everything off of what I'm putting out into the world. And it's a really unique way of living in that most people don't operate that way. But when I look around, all of my friends, everyone I've met is through the content I've made. If I had not done that, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be in this office. I wouldn't have my friends. I wouldn't be doing anything. I'd be at home fucking miserable, probably running the, my old event company. Like I would have never created anything. And so I don't know. I think it's crazy. More people don't live like this. However, when I actually look at what I'm doing from an outside perspective, it is kind of crazy. And I think for some people, it seems impossible to do, but it really is like that zero to one, like that friction is so much of it. It's like the beginning of a workout. Like I think the hardest part, the hardest part of a workout is just pressing start on your watch. And once you do that, the workout seems to just fly by and you know, you're into the warm up, and then you're into the hard part and then you're, you know, you're getting through it and then it's boom, it's over. You're almost done and it's over versus like, that's kind of how it is when you're starting anything new, you have to just press start and go through the motions, get your legs moving. And then boom, you're in it, you're in the game. And before you know it, you're like winning the game. And that is, it is so hard to start making something. It was so hard for me to start these YouTube videos. I wanted to do it for years and I couldn't do it until I was ready. There is definitely a paradox, I think, or like a, maybe not a paradox, but like there's a very thin line between not being ready to do something and, um, being ready, but just being too nervous. And, and, and I don't know what the right answer was for me. It's hard. I think I could have started them earlier though. If I had made the right decisions to feel ready, you know what I mean? Right? Like, I think I started it at the right time when I was ready to talk to the camera, but at the same time, I think that I hadn't done the right things in my personal life to be ready. And I could have, um, yeah. So anyway, how do you get over it is just recognizing that people are so busy in their lives. So I never really answered the question in the video, which is how do you get comfortable with making content, right? I kind of talked about why I think it's important. I think it's the coolest thing ever that I'm posting stuff and it gets, you know, on Instagram, hundreds of thousands of views on my writing. And you just have no idea who these views are. Like they are just some of the most incredible people in the world are one of those hundreds of thousands of views. Um, that to me is so cool. Like who's out there? Who's watching? Who are you? Like, I don't know. And I love that game. And I love that these invisible compounding network effects happening behind my back right now with people sharing my stuff and talking about my stuff. And I just think it's cool. I think it's cool that whatever I get, I deserve based on what I create. I really like that game. And then the other side of it is like, how do you get comfortable with that when you're worried about what people think? The way I view it is I literally imagine people or like the people I'm worried about scrolling on their phone, they see my stuff, they stop for literally a millisecond and then they move on. And that is what they're doing. Like literally a millisecond. That's the judgment you're worried about. And truthfully, however they think of your stuff is a direct reflection on how they think of their stuff. So if they're shitting on your stuff, it's highly likely it's because they shit on themselves for being, not having the courage to do what you're doing. That's what I think. Anyone I like would respect the fuck out of someone getting out there and doing something. Whenever I see someone posting on social media, even if it sucks, I respect the fuck out of them because they're actually out there trying you know, in the arena trying shit. It's like, that's someone playing the game. You're in the game now. Come on, let's go. Let's play. Let's talk about it. Like versus everyone else who just shits on people. And I've done this where like, I don't shit on people, but like you're just on Twitter commenting about people versus like, no, like now I'm in the game. I want to be in the game. I don't want to be outside the game at all. I don't, I spent enough time outside the game. I spent like the last three, four years, mostly outside the game. Like, yeah, I was building my following sort of but I was just watching, I was spectating versus now I'm on a clear, direct mission. I am playing, I'm not consuming like anything. I don't have time. And there's, I've never been happier. 
Like once you have your life's mission clear, it is a ridiculously comfortable feeling. It's so hard to describe because it just makes everything make sense because you know exactly where you're going. And yeah, I don't know the steps to get there. I don't know the, the side quests I'll take and like the path I'll do to get there, but I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going and I can make every decision based off that. And even when I feel lost, even when I get depressed, I have this thing. It's like a, it's like a best friend that will never leave you, right? You don't break up with your best friend. I mean, maybe I guess you get in a fight, whatever, but like they're there for you, right? Or it's like a parent. I don't know what it's like, but it's like this incredibly warm feeling that surrounds you when you know what you're meant to do. And it took me so long to find that feeling. And because I'm such an all in person, I would never do anything because I, I was either all in or all out. But now I'm all in on this mission of obsession and there's no time to waste because every second I'm wasting, I'm not building more like, you know, writing and stories and pictures for this movement. Every second can be used. And it's like, it's hard to explain how much I love that feeling. Um, this video is kind of all over the place about like why I love creating, how to get over the fear of creating. But um, like I said, you really just have to be, be ridiculously comfortable with recognizing that no one cares about you. No one cares. All they care about you is something to serve themselves. Always, even the people closest to you. Yes, those people care about your success, but they're focused on themselves. They're focused on their life. And so you have to recognize how short life is and that you are going to die never having started your thing unless you start soon. Like you have to start eventually. So you might as well start it now because it's going to take so long to get good. And if you know you're going to do it forever, if you know you're going to do it a long time, then there is literally no better time to start than tomorrow. Um, and you have to stop caring. You just have to stop caring. You have to say, fuck it. And just like be cringe a little bit you're going to be cringe. You're going to cringe at yourself. People are going to cringe at you, but who the fuck cares? You're out there in the arena. You're getting it. You're going after it. And that is an incredibly beautiful thing. And that is the only comfort you need. That's it. Stay obsessed.